the major parties aren't great fans of independents and minor parties. Uh, how do you think the growing number of independents has influenced Australian politics? We might start with you, Zali Stigall, this time. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <clears throat> Well, I think this is a problem of the major parties' own making. They have ignored the calls around key issues, around climate policy, energy policies, integrity, anti-corruption. For so many years, communities have had enough and they are emerging, realising that their vote is theirs and it can count and every vote in the House matters, especially when you have tight government or, I would argue, a parliament of balance if neither side has a majority. So communities have decided they don't want their vote in the House of Representatives to be a proxy vote for a major party, for people behind the scenes making decisions without consulting with communities. So, of course, the major parties do not like this challenge to the status quo. For so long, it's been this question of wedge the other side, this focus, rather than looking at long-term policy, things that will make a difference to our children, to our future, to our communities. They are just interested in holding on to power over the next three years or, or keeping the other side out of power. And that is just so uh, just disappointing for so many communities. So what we're seeing, a rise of independent voices around so many communities. It started in Indi. I know Warringah has inspired so many communities and I have people here from Warringah today who are so excited about we can do politics differently. It can be about positive vision. It can be about solutions and it can be about accountability. And that's what independence represents.